All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. This is uh, going to be a short video. Preparing for our coming video is going to be uh, not long from now. Uh, I receive a link from a Muslim, and the Muslim he says, uh, "Christian Prince, I have a challenge for you." Uh, however, I tried to open the link, I could not go there. But under the video he sent me, uh, the link it says this uh, this video blocked in your country. I'm not sure why. Uh, however, I found a website under the video. And the website is full of amazing facts about Islam. So uh, I just picked one of them, which is very funny, and I wanted to speak about it. As you see from the title of the video, uh, it says that Islam gave the women the right to get married in her own choice. Now that is really, I mean, fantastic that women she have a right to marry in her choice. I mean, why she don't even have that right? And you know, when you see this uh, such a statement, you think that women before Islam, she don't have a right to marry in her own choice. Actually, before Islam, women, she used to marry many husbands of her choice, not only one. The Arab, they used to practice what is called Zawaj al rahd and you will see that in my coming book, where one woman marrying up to 10 husbands, all of them, they are husbands. She sleep with all of them, and when she get a pregnant, she choose which one is the father. This is what the women was before Islam. She is the one who have multi husband, which means she is in control. So what do you mean Islam gave the women the right to marry of her own choice? When somebody hear this, he would think that before Islam, women they don't have the right to marry in their own choice. Actually, according to the Muslim stories and books, and I challenge any Muslim to say this is not true. Khadija, the wife of Muhammad, the, the one who is in the, in the age of his mother, she is the one who married Muhammad according to Muslims. She is the one who asked for his hand according to Muslims. You see how they lie? According to them, it was Khadija who chose Muhammad to marry her. So what do you mean Islam gave the women the right to marry if Khadija she was before Islam exists and she is the one who married Muhammad and even Muhammad he used to work for her. It is a religion full of lies. Islam never respect women. Women before Islam was a lot better. However, as long as the Muslims, they mention this title that Islam gave the women the right to marry of her own choice, as you see here. Word. Islam give the right of education for women. That's a big fat lie. Islam teach that the women, she should stay at home and her business is cooking and sewing clothes. That's what Islam teach. Islam teach that women she have half a brain. Islam teach that women she can be beaten by her husband. Islam teach that even inheritance of a woman she is not equal to the inheritance of a man. All what you see in front of you is a lie. Islam made the women a stick. The man he can move it as he wish when he wish as you see Khadija herself She used to own a business before Islam and Muhammad himself. He used to be an employee of her, which means she was the boss That's before Islam Islam give the women the right to enter the house of God Are you sure? Women they enter the house of God in Islam There's a blind between them and they cannot practice anything. Can the women go and say something in the mosque? Can a woman, you see the Muslim, the Muslim, they say to you, do you know that the Bible says the women, she have to shut up and not to talk in the church? This is a lie. Read verse, the verses carefully. The Bible speak about women who speak about cooking and whatever things have nothing to do with the church. However, the Bible speak that women, they can even prophesy in the church. They can be even a prophet of God. We have women who they are judges, rulers, Women who they have a great history who saved nations in the Bible. And we have a woman who is the mother of Jesus, which all the Christians love and respect. And what an honor for someone to believe that a woman is the one who God chose to come down to earth. What more honor for the women to be or to have. But as long the Muslims here, they start with this one, or let us say this is the important one. 
we will go later to the education which is a lie Islam gives women the right to get married with her own choice then I have a very simple question this is a hadith about Aisha this is many years after Aisha was married already many many years Aisha she is a plane with her dolls how and what was the age of Aisha when she was playing with her dolls if we go and search different sources we will find that Muhammad he did marry or rape Aisha when she was a child Sahih al-Bukhari narrated the following Aisha said that the Prophet married her when she was six years old Notice carefully that in their website they said Islam gave the women the right of a choice to marry what who she wish What was the choice of Aisha to marry Muhammad? When Muhammad he decided to marry Aisha at the age of six She was a woman The funny in their website they say the women she have the right When the fact they should say it's children's <laughs> Not the women. This is a child This is six years old baby girl Playing with her dolls. Where is the choice of six years old to get married? Why Muslim they lie about Islam giving the women the right of it, the choice to marry? Where is the choice? Muhammad he went to the father of Aisha. He spoke to her. The mother of Aisha she went and she delivered her to him. When she was playing with the swing with her, her, her friends, where is the choice of a woman? Is that a woman? What is the woman there? And who is the one who decides for Aisha to marry or not to marry? This is how they try to fool you with their statement, which is absolutely false, stupid, decorated sta statement. You know, they decorate. Islam give rights what rights women is excuse, excuse my language I don't want to be rude but according to Islam women is a piece of shit she is dirty she is a stupid she have whole brain and she is the one who betrayed the husband and most of women they will go to hell what do you mean right what the right Muhammad he threat women that most of them they will go to hell because they are half a brain because women are the same as Eve they betray their husband as you see in the front of you Muhammad he play or he claim that Adam is out of heaven because of the filthy Eve If not Eve, there is no woman will betray her husband If not Eve Where is the right and where is the and the funny they say to you Islam don't judge the person unless by his sin So why you are judging women by the sin of Eve? What about Adam? What is Adam in the story? Muhammad when he said That you women are half a brain and you have a defect and This defect involve your brain and your intellect Was he Fair when a man he say women they have deficiency and the deficiency in, involved their wisdom and their religion and he is threatening them if you don't pay me money or a few you will go to hell was he serious or he is just scaring them to give to get their gold and their bracelet in their hands and right away the women they start taking their bracelet from their hands and their rings and they give it to Muhammad because Muhammad he said Oh women, oh women, oh women. Give a charity. Give charity. Look, he start with give, give. And what is that will do? Why? Because among the people of hell is you, the majority. The majority of people of hell are women. So he decided that you go to hell by gender, not by sin. Just because you are a woman, 
you are qualified to go to hell and what is the qualification she have deficiency in her brain you see here in the in the translation they are not even truthful they say deficiency deficiency in our wisdom it doesn't say that it says deficiency in your brain it doesn't say you have a lack of wisdom it doesn't say that it says you have a half a brain less brain your brain is not is not is, is not uh, it's not full what is the right for the women my friend remember the women is your mother and my mother your wife your sister your daughter she is not a piece of garbage and many women they are a lot more wise than many donkeys who claim to be men having a penis excuse my language between your legs does not make you wise and having a vagina between your legs does not make you less than anyone this is a stupid belief Muhammad he promoted through centuries and Muslims today they treat women as a piece of garbage they cover her to say to you oh we protect Muslim women we you are not protecting women you own them you are they are your slaves to keep them under control so they cannot breathe they cannot see they cannot talk even Muhammad he said if a woman she refused to go to the bed of the husband the angels of God will curse her all night but he himself he refused to sleep with Sauda bin Tudama because she is getting fat and old but the angels of God will not curse Muhammad for not sleeping with the women but of the women she is not sleeping with the husband who have many wives not only one yet the angels will curse her because she is guilty she is guilty she did not open her legs that is Islam and this is what Muslim tried to fool you and they don't want you to know and I challenge any Muslim to say I'm not telling the truth if there is any Muslim there he dare to say I am not telling the truth and imagine this man this madman he say clearly when they ask him what is our deficiency in religion and our intelligence he said the proof of that that Allah he made the testimony of two women equal to one man so women they have a defect and it's very stupid of a person to say because they have a defect in their brain they will go to hell well isn't it Allah who made that defect if it is exist which absolutely false Imagine if I am God, I am Allah, I am the one who created the women, I am the one who made that defect happen, and then I'm going to punish the women because she have that defect. Who is the donkey here? Muslims, who is the donkey? Who is the one have a real defect? If Allah is the one who made women have a defect, how that is going to be a reason for them to go to hell? It is his defect. So if God did not make me smart, according to the story here, Allah will punish me, will send me to hell because I'm not smart. But it's Allah who made me that smart. What I can do? Who is the donkey? I hope donkeys are not listening because they will be insulted. They might even sue me. They say this guy, he is calling us that we are the same as Muhammad. I don't believe that a donkey exists in this earth he believed that women, female donkey, she have half a brain. I don't think he see her such a way. Only Muslim he see a woman in such a way. And not only in earth, she is not qualified to be equal to the man, even in heaven. In heaven, the women, she is not exist. She is just a sex toy. What the What is the purpose of a woman to be in heaven? It's just to open her legs. What is the reason for the women to be in heaven? It's just to make the men enjoy them. Even the Quran confirmed that those women, they will be restrained in their tents, which means they will be jailed. Imagine you are in heaven, but yet you are in jail. And why you are in jail? Because simply you are designated as legs opener 
to make a penis of a man in the heaven of Allah happy. This is the duty and the job of women in Islam. And they say to you, Islam, make and show respect to women. How deceiving those statements are. Anyone who see the women as a stupid creature, I guarantee you that you are the stupid one. Women and men, some they can be smart, some they can be stupid, but this has happened to everybody, every gender. There's women who they are super smart, and there's women they are not smart. However, if a woman she is not a smart, that is not a reason to disrespect her. That is not a reason to look at her down. And if you are smart, that is not a reason really to be proud. I mean, you are lucky. You got a parent, maybe he is the your, your father IQ was high, your mother IQ was high, so the baby is born of high IQ family. If you are tall, it is not your it's not you who made yourself tall or short. You are just a child, you are a product of two merging DNA. If you want to be proud, be proud about you being good to others, you being best of what you can. A person who serve and love people around him not about what I inherited from my parents a person who is not a smart but he is loving and giving and caring is ten times better than someone who is a smart but he hurt people a person who have a defect a real defect not like the one who Muhammad is speaking of a defect let us say there's somebody have a defect in his brain I mean is that a reason to go to hell you idiot Actually, this one should not go to hell because he have a defect. It's not his fault. If somebody, the Bible teach, if somebody is not aware, which means he have maybe a problem, or even he is a smart, but he do not know about God, still God will judge him justly. If somebody have a, some kind of syndrome, illness, he cannot recognize things around him. He have a defect. That is a reason to go to hell. What a shame. This person is the last one to go to hell. So I wanted to make this video, and this video will be short, because we are going to start our podcast again at 4, or between 4 and 4.30. This is just a short video to show you how hypocrite liars the Muslims are. When the Quran in chapter 4, verse number 34 says, Beat your wife to beat her to do what? So you can force her to do things you think it is the right way to do it. Where is the respect? So they make an article saying Islam give women rights, give women rights. She is nothing in Islam. Stop lying. Somebody is asking me about the case of rape. I mean, why for witnesses in the case of rape? That is a stupid, uh, 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 you know, uh, requirement in Islam. But my friend, Islam is about rape. When when Muhammad he got Aisha at the age of six, did he marry her really, or he raped her? Islam approve rape. A woman she cannot. Deny the husband in the in the bed. So even if you are a wife, still you will be raped. Islam allowed slavery rape. And as you see, Islam encouraged children rape. Because when a man at the age of 54 bring a child at the age of six or even nine to his bed, where is the will of the child? Is she a woman? Did she choose to marry him? Did, did even she know what marriage means? That is nothing but a rape. And what kind of a prophet he have a sexual desire to babies? In different story, Muhammad he was asking a man, questioning his 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 intelligence. He says to him, "You know why you don't go and if a little baby girl, so you can play with her." 
where is where is where is the you know where, where, the dignity where is the respect where is a man who claimed to be a prophet of God what is the wisdom the man is happily married but the woman she is previously married which means either a widow or she is divorced however Muhammad he asked him his name the guy his name is Jabir hey Jabir where, where are you going why you are in a rush to go home? Why you are trying to go home fast? So Jabir, he said, well, I am just newly married and I miss my wife. So Muhammad, he said to him, did you marry a virgin young girl or a woman who is a previously married? The guy, he said, well, she is a previously married. Muhammad, he don't like that. He said to him, what's wrong with you? Are you stupid? Are you stupid? Why? Why don't you go and rape a child like I did? And trust me, they are fun so that you could sport with her and she could sport with you. Muhammad is looking for a wife or looking for a baby to sport with him. Is that the right of marriage in Islam? Is that the prophet of God encouraging a man to hate his wife who he is already married from and encouraging him to leave her and find a virgin who is young child? Is that what good men do? I meet my friend, I ask him, hey, where are you, where are you are rushed to go home? Oh, I'm just, I got married last week. I miss my wife. The guy, or, or you know, he loves his wife. Over, over, you know, he miss her. He's been a good man. And look what I say to him. What you married? Really? Okay. She is a. Is her vagina used before, or her vagina is not used? This is what it's mean. Version. Why he's asking her is why he's asking the question about vagina because this is a question about vagina. You see the word version when you ask if she version or not, or what you are asking. Did somebody use that vagina before or not? Let us be honest. So what kind of a prophet he asked a husband, is your wife brand new vagina or she have a used one? And what is his business to say, oh, this vagina is not good. You better get a brand new vagina. And the brand new vagina can be found in children's. Is that a prophet of God? Imagine Muhammad is the shrink of people who are, who are thinking of divorce. Everybody will get divorced if Muhammad the shrink would take care of you. Because the first question he will ask you, is your wife previously married or she was a new, new vagina? You say no, she is. Oh, divorce her man, go and get a brand new girl. Her vagina never been used, zero mileage. It's still the walks there. What kind of religion this religion is? Where is the right of this woman? Why Muhammad is destroying the house, the family of a man he is happily married with a woman she did nothing to him? What is the fault of this woman with Muhammad trying to destroy her house? Nothing. Except that her vagina is not a qualified for Muhammad. My friend, Islam look at the women as a vagina. Islam does not look at the women as a woman. That is the truth about Islam. Join us at between 4 and 4.30. We will start our podcast today again. This is a short video, so you guys you can download it and share it around. And may the Lord bless you all. This is a Christian prince sharing with you answers about Islam exposing the lies and the deceptions which Muslims are specialized with don't ever believe a Muslim telling you anything about his religion for they are a bunch of liars and I prove it to you every day in the screen and today we will receive phone calls from Muslims and you will hear yourself how we can expose the lies and the deception garbage in garbage out that is exactly what Islam is about. 
Thank you for being with us again. Join us again between 4 and 4.30. We'll start our podcast. Be with us, invite your friends, and tell everybody. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And see you soon again. Thank you.